Welcome to Third Eye Champagne. I am Kirsten Langston on T, slanging the good juju as always. We have a fun one today. Someone requested this. I can't find their name, but they said look at Fifth Harmony, which I think, hey, why not? I think it's a fabulous idea. So yeah, I'm going to look at Camilla over there in a minute. But right now I'm looking at Fifth Harmony. And it's looking like, I know as of this recording, they have an album that's about to come out. I, probably by the time this video comes out, the album will be out. It looks like they're not super duper happy with their management and it looks like they're not making as much money as they want to or as much money as they could be making. They do have a new endeavor on the way, that's a new album that's coming up in their home environment. It also looks like somebody else is getting ready to walk, somebody else is very unhappy. I'm sure all you Fifth Harmony fans, you can find she will probably be an air sign as this is the Queen of Swords. But somebody's feeling, yeah, I'm feeling tied up here, I don't like it. Let's see if they're going to stay together or if a breakup is imminent. I can tell you this, the management, there's some kind of unrest or some kind of, some of them like them or some of them don't, or somebody's getting favorite, like, favorite treatment, or there's something with the management that's not, not kosher. But let's see, okay, so what I'm going to look at is, is the album going to be a success? And then I will look at, will they break up? And then we'll see how Camilla's going to fare. I see another one breaking apart. I see another one walking away and saying, no, nah, I'm done. I'm done too. The album does well, but not absurdly well. They seem to be very, very worried about it. Uh, I'm wondering, is this their first album without Camilla? Because they seem to be really concerned about it. They're getting the devil here, and they, they're they getting the Seven of Wands, which to me says, oh, we got to fight for this one. This is a fight for us. This is somehow a fight for them. Um, somebody walks. I'm telling you, somebody walks. Somebody else walks soon, pretty soon. I mean, I would say before the year is out is what I'm thinking. But um, the album is not that successful. Not, it's not a, a, a bombshell. It's not. It's just not great. I mean, but it does seem to them like it's a bit of a fight. It seems to them, and it, I wonder if it, it took a while for them to get it out. It feels like too much money was spent making it, or somebody's not happy about it. It feels like there are there's too many creative compromises going on here. These women do not feel happy. They don't. Nobody, they don't feel like, oh yeah, we're in, we're in it, we're in it, we love it. No, 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 no. Let me tell you something. There's there's some undercurrents going on under here. So show me that. They're coming through very strong. So let's look at. I want to look at what are the undercurrents in the in the band dynamics. Some kind of legal money shit. I'm telling you, some people are not happy with contracts or with management or money. There's some kind of a. They're not happy. Really, they're really, really, really not happy. Somebody walks, I'm telling you. I think this one, I think it's this one that walks. And I don't know who this is, but I, I think it's going to be an air sign. Somebody walks. There is, there's a uh, disappointment in the future with these ladies. There is a disappointment with the band. Right now, it's okay. We've got the lovers. So they don't hate each other, but there's friction there. And it seems to be, the root of it seems to be money. It seems like this female, whoever she is, walks away that some there's a male that says okay you don't need this shit you should get out of here are they gonna break up completely let's look they, honestly they get along very well but there's still this underpinning of friction of conflict of static are they gonna break up I, I do feel there's one female that's just really not happy especially one there might be more than one but I'm feeling especially one cards are actually really good they're really, 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 really good. We've got beautiful cards here, cards of love, cards of friendship. But somebody's checked out. Maybe they check back in, but right now they've checked out. The Eight of Cups is coming up in the home environment, which says to me, I have walked away from this, at least emotionally. I'm not invested in it anymore. It feels like there's one female that's that's just like, mm, I don't know about all this. They are going to tour. Hello. This is the card of touring. I know that because my husband's in a band. And whenever I read for for him or his band, I get I get the card of touring. But we knew that they have an album coming out. It's not surprising that card is showing up there. I don't see them breaking up, not anytime soon anyway. But there is this female that's like, mm, I don't know. I need a break. Let's look at. We're looking at Camilla. We're looking at her solo career. Is she going to be mega successful? Will she's showing up on her own cards? She's feeling pretty damn good about things. And she's super duper going for it. But it, it's like it just hangs there. It, it's, it never explodes. There, I would want to see even the tower here. I would want to see maybe the chariot. 
it, it doesn't go batshit her career. And she's showing up in her own cards here. And it's funny because the devil is behind her, which to me says, I'm afraid of failure. She does well. She's got the three of cups here. So she does well. But I don't think that she will ever get to the to the, the same kind of fame that she had with F Fifth Harmony, if that makes any sense. That level of energy is just not going to happen for her. And it's showing a disappointment for her. So it's showing she's just not going to do as well as she would hope or would have liked. Let's see if she regrets leaving. I wonder if she has anxiety or stage fright because she's... Um, she feels nervous to me. She feels anxious. She feels like, I wonder if that's just on stage or if that's also off stage, but she feels where she has moments where she gets a little bit shaky and she's just like, oh shit. I don't think she regrets it. She's still friends, it looks like, with at least some of these people, but I don't think she regrets it. She's showing up here. Then we have this guy and this guy here. So she's still friends with some of these. I don't know if she's friends with all of them, but she's friends with some of them. It doesn't seem to me that she has regrets. To me, it was like, I had to get out of there. I had to get out of there. I don't, she wasn't happy. She's getting the card of sorrow. She's getting the card of loss. She's also getting this devil on top of her. And that, to me, that also feels like I wasn't happy. I had to go. I had to go. I had to get out of here. It wasn't good for me. It was not good for me. I had to get out of here. I almost wonder, too, if there's pressure, if there's outside pressure. Not saying, oh, you can be bigger than them, you can be better than them. But somebody behind her, more, more than likely a male, saying, um, this isn't good for you. Because it feels to me like it was detrimental. It feels to me like it was, it's like, no, I had to get out of here. You don't understand. I had to get out of here. And, you know, of course, you'll never hear the full story. We'll never know. She couldn't do it anymore. And I'm feeling that so strongly. It was like, no. And again, so I feel like there are quite a few people that are very unhappy with the management or the, or the way things are run. And there's another female, I'm telling you, that's like, I'm getting ready to walk. I'm getting ready to walk. I'm not happy with this. So show me the fate. We'll do the very last. I can read on Camilla all day. Ha! She's easy to read on and pleasant to read for also. Okay, so right now we're looking at the fate of Fifth Harmony. Where are they going to stand? It actually looks great. They're working very hard. We know that Wheel of Fortune is upon them. So they're making money. Oh, hello. We're making a lot of money. They're making a lot of money. They're doing really well. And nobody's going anywhere right now. Nobody's going anywhere right now. The Four of Pentacles is a card of security. It's a card of I am sitting put. It is also a card of I'm making money. But, you know, nobody's going anywhere right now. If I do think somebody's going to walk, but I don't think it's going to happen yet. It's going to be a minute because there is unrest. There is unrest. There's happiness. So the three of cups is a card of happiness. And then there's the devil, which is I am not happy with what's happening here. The major arcana is always going to trump the minor arcana. So yes, there's happiness, but the unrest outweighs it, at least right now. It was a fun read. I had a good time doing that one. So thank you, whoever you are that suggested it, who I, I for some reason, I can't find the comment. And I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a lazy bitch. That's probably it. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Yes, give me the thumbs up. Yes, subscribe to my channel. Yes, be a patron. Give me all the goodies. No, actually, it's, a diff it's the other way around. I'm going to give you all the goodies. I hope I am. So listen, if you have something you want me to read on, I do take requests. You're a fabulous person. You watching this right now. You are a fabulous person. This is how we wrap shit up on Third Eye Champagne. I tell you how wonderful you are. And you are. You're wonderful. You're perfect the way you are. I adore you. I want you to have the best day. I want you to have the best week. Fuck, have the best life. Why not? Be well.